What is up, guys? So, more stuff. Gonna put this stuff away. I gotta show you. So I'll make this quick. Because quick is good. Uh, let's start with some PSP games I grabbed at Disc Replay. I got these games for, um, like, maybe 12 bucks together. I don't remember. I feel like I'm rushing through this. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, I was surprised that they had these because... They never have good PSP games at Disc Replay. It's just a system they don't get games for, kind of like Vita. They never get games for. So when they have good games for systems like that, like, it's awesome. And these ones I didn't have, and they were super fucking cheap, so. And the guy told me there was more, but people bought a bunch, so. Unfortunately, I didn't get those, but I don't know why these were still left. I actually was going to go earlier that day, and then... I couldn't, so I kind of wish I would have. Anyways, uh, this was, uh, I think, four bucks, Class of Heroes on the PSP, uh, complete and in fantastic condition. And this was eight dollars, I believe, or it was the other way around, I don't know. Uh, ZHP Unlosing Ranger versus Dark Death Evil Man, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I've been wanting this game for a while, so very, very happy to get that. Uh, in the spirit of disc replay, because I've been buying everything from there since garage sales are not going on right now, I grabbed uh, Dead or Alive 1. Um, I grabbed this because they were doing like buy three of certain systems, get 40% off, and I needed an extra game to get the 40% off. So I grabbed that because I didn't have it. I want Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, but I cannot find that for around here. And I don't really feel like going on eBay, so. I also grabbed at the same time Fear 2, um, which I didn't have, so I grabbed it. And then this was the one I mainly wanted. I got uh, Lightning Returns on the PS3. And there is a reason I got this right now. I mean, I've been wanting it, but um, this just so happened to be cheap as hell. With the 40% off, it was like 7 something, which is awesome. But I purposely went to go pick this up because of something I will show you in a little bit in this video. Um, I also grabbed uh, Furu Furu Park for the Wii. Um, this is a very cheap game, but it's just, it's like a mini game with a bunch of Taito games and like Pocky and Rocky is in it and Bubble Bobble and a bunch of really weird stuff and I've never actually seen it in person before. So I wanted to grab that just because it looked odd. I also got Sylphid the Lost Planet, um, which I've been looking for this for a very long time locally. I mean, I could get on eBay super easy, but, um, <clears throat> I'd rather grab stuff locally. Um, so happy to get that. I also grabbed Gallerian's Ash, um, which, uh, I was just interested in. Obviously, that's why I bought it, <clears throat> and that was very, very cheap. Um, this they had, which was really cool too, because I never see it at any Game Stops around me, because I know it's cheap there, and not cheap on eBay. Uh, Fatal Inertia for the 360. Um, so, happy to get this uh, futuristic racer. Um, I played a little bit on the 360, because I, I think I got it as a Games with Gold, like when they started. I think that's how I got it, but I have it downloaded, I'm pretty sure, on the 360, so... Um, I played a little bit before, it's uh, interesting. I also grabbed Guilty Gear X, um, <clears throat> uh, very cheap, I don't know, I just grab all the random things that I want, I mean, I don't fucking know. It's cheap, and I want it, and just so happens that they just keep coming in sprinkling random weird games that I, whatever. Uh, Eternal Ring for a few bucks. Not sure if that's any good, but that is uh, from software. So I grabbed that. And then Zatch Bell Momoto Fury, which I don't really know much about this game. I know this was a super good deal on it, so I figured I'd grab it, check it out. If I don't like it, I'll just sell it and then make the Buku Bucks. And then this game, I've never actually even heard of before. I guess it's a port of a Game Boy Advance game, which is 
pretty wild because the PS1 and the Game Boy Advance didn't really have a lot of time like where they crossed paths while they were still relevant. But it was only a few bucks and I guess this game is like it's cheap anyways. I think it's worth like four dollars. But that's uh Pinobi. Um and it's a 2D like a like a 2D platformer on the PS1, which I'm gonna grab those because you know PS1 was the fucking <clears throat> system of freaking 3d crap and i'm not really all about 3d platformers like i like some but i don't know i like the 2d ones better i also got Mega Man x4 for 10 bucks so happy to get that obviously because i bought it and then i got a trade package from someone which i actually still need to send his out um, me and Sporadic, we've been working on a little something. Well, actually, he's been holding something for me, and I told him I need to find stuff for him before he can send it out. So, I think in my last video, I showed a bunch of stuff I'm sending him. And, um, he sent me these two games. So, that was very, very awesome, Sporadic. I appreciate it very much. Uh, he sent me Tenchu Stealth Assassins. Um, <clears throat> I guess... You know, he had some PS1 stuff he wanted to get rid of, and I used to play this game a lot as a kid. I don't know if it's still good, but I, you know, figured why not. Um, and then, this was the big one he was holding for me, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. So, happy to cross that one off the list. That is a very big one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of stealth games, but the only Metal Gear, or... The only Metal Gear Solid I've ever actually, like, really played and beaten is the first one. So, I know this is, like, a remake of the very first uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, it's got Metal Gear Solid 2 on it, too. So, um, yeah, very awesome. I don't have the HD collection on PS3. So, those will meet my needs for now. And maybe they will get me into the stealth game genre. I think the only two stealth games, stealthy type games I really liked were uh, Metal Gear Solid, which I played when it came out, and Last of Us, which is kind of a stealthy game, but that game's just awesome, so. Any who's it, um, I actually bought a game, actually I didn't get this from eBay, I thought I maybe bought a game off eBay, which I still have and it's been a while. I actually have a game coming from eBay right now though, but I don't have it here to show you. I got this off Amazon because I went to my local thrift store and they had some loose discs in a bin that said two for a dollar and I bought in games out of this bin before and I take it up to the register and the lady's looking at the game and she's like this is a PlayStation game and I was like yeah and she's like this is five dollars and I'm like it was in this bin that says two for a dollar and she's like well someone must have accidentally accidentally put it there I'm like, there's a bunch of games in the bin. I've bought games out of it before that were 50 cents. She's like, it's $5. And I'm like, well, I don't want it then because that's, that's just way fucking overpriced. Like, Salvation Army around here, the specific one wants like $5 for every game. So all they have is garbage. One of the Goodwills is charging fucking $6 for games now. It's just ridiculous. I can go to disc replay and buy games for cheaper than I can at a freaking thrift store. So fucking greedy, greedy assholes. So thrift stores basically suck balls around here right now. So that's why I go to disc replay like fucking 80 times a week. Anyways, I got this off Amazon for $4.90 something shipped. Less than the fucking thrift store. And it's fucking complete, too. Uh, that's Sub Rebellion for the PS2. Um, which is basically, like, I guess, a unofficial, like, sequel to In the Hunt on the PS1 and the Saturn. But this one's, like, third person, so you drive around a fucking submarine under and above the water and shoot a bunch of shit. It actually looks really awesome. Um, and the music that I heard in a YouTube video was fucking amazing. I have not gotten it to it myself yet because I buy 80 million games and don't have time to play them all. But I'm happy to get that. And that game is cheap as hell, so 
if it piques your interest, go out and pick it up. Anyways, um, I also hopped on the recent Nintendo Selects uh, drop for Nintendo games. Um, I sold some of the games I had and then rebought them and kept my cases. And actually, the discs were the same as the previous versions. They didn't change the disc art for a select version, so that was awesome. But two games I got that I didn't have, I got Super Mario Galaxy 2 from GameStop. Uh, this is not the Selects packaging because I got it from GameStop, but I had a $10 off coupon, so that was like $8. And then this one, which is awesome because I couldn't find it for a cheap price, uh, Pikmin 3. So, very awesome to get that. <clears throat> and then at Best Buy a few weeks ago, they had this for very, very cheap. Um, Legend of Legacy. Uh, this is the first launch edition, but it was in that fucking spider wrap, so like it's dented there and there. But it was the last one they had, and I mean it was really, really cheap, so I think it was 12 bucks for me after using a reward certificate, so whatever. Um, I also finally found this game locally, which is awesome, and I'm now that I'm looking at it, I can't believe I still haven't fucking popped it in because I was super pumped to play it. So I may be doing this, like, right after this video. Uh, but that is Code of Princess. Um, this game is fucking cheap at GameStop. It's, like, 15 bucks. Um, I think I used a fucking uh, certificate with my points to get it even cheaper. But, uh, doesn't have the outer box, but that's okay. Because I got the case and I got the game, and that's all that matters. Um, I also picked up, uh, Life is Strange, um, I think I was gonna grab this at GameStop, because they had the limited edition, like, just the case, though, and I asked if they had the outer box and everything, and they said they did, but it was being held for a customer, so I guess the customer was just taking the outer box and not buying, like, the actual game, because the game was still on the fucking floor, or maybe they were keeping the thing for themselves, but... I was like, well, fuck that. I'm just going to go on Amazon and pay like five more dollars and get a brand new copy. So, I bought that. Um, also from Amazon, I grabbed Dengenki Bunko Fighting Climax. Um, this has the uh, soundtrack CD. You can't see it, but it's wrapped behind this thing. Um, been wanting this for a while and it got really cheap, so... Um, really enjoying the 2D Fighters on the PS3. I have not gotten to that one yet, but I've heard very good things. So, that should be awesome. So, let's get to the last things I got, which are all collector's editions. One I bought brand new. Three I got at Disc Replay. Kind of got, well, I didn't, I'll explain it. Uh, first up, I ended up getting Fire Emblem Fates um, for the 3DS. I pre-ordered this way back in November. Uh, somehow I was lucky enough to see it went live on Best Buy, pre-ordered it, um, then you know, they fucking sold out everywhere, GameStop started canceling pre-orders, and people scalped this thing for a fuck ton of money, which is ridiculous, but... Um, <clears throat> very very happy to get it. Um, I've been playing Birthright I Haven't finished it yet. I've kind of been I feel like going through a little bit of video game burnout So I haven't really been playing a ton lately but uh, I'll get back to finishing that and then I'm still playing Trails of Cold Steel and really if I play anything That's the only game I feel like playing and I usually start at night and then fall asleep instantly because I'm tired so um, that'll probably take a while. So these last three things I got. <coughs> um, at Disc Replay. Um, it was very weird. Uh, I went there with my friend. And he found a Persona 4 Dancing All Night Collector's Edition box. Uh, for, but it was just the box and the extra stuff. No game. And they just wanted 10 bucks for it. So I was like, that's sweet, you know. Um, he already had the game, so he can just pop his game in there, and, um, you know, it'll be complete, so, I was looking around, I grabbed a couple things, and I saw in this case, they usually keep, like, cell phones and, like, headphones and shit, they had some more collector's editions of games, uh, they had the first 
print version of Shin Megami Tensei 4. Uh, Bravely Default, the collector's edition stuff. But no games, just the boxes. So someone just came in and sold them the boxes, but not the games. And they were selling the boxes for super cheap. They were selling all of them for 10 bucks. Except for Bravely Default was 20 bucks. But I already have the collector's edition, so I didn't grab that one. Even though maybe I should have. Because, you know, flip it on eBay. Or help a friend, you know. I'm open to that too. So anyways, I did grab three there. And the first one was uh, the Lightning Returns um, PS3 Collector's Edition. And that is actually why I bought Lightning Returns, um, which is, I can't grab it now. But that's why I bought Lightning Returns from Disc Replay, because I did not have this game yet. I've been meaning to get it, but I wanted to just complete this, so um, I grabbed the game. But this was, I mean, $10, and it had everything except for the game. Which was awesome. So, happy to get that. Let me find somewhere to put this. They also had uh, Dragon Guard 3. Um, now, I guess the case for this is actually different than the regular game. But, that's fine. Whatever, I have the regular game. So, um, very, very awesome, of course. <laughs> and then, I also grabbed Final Fantasy Type-0 uh, HD. On the PS4, and this actually has the steel book with it too, so maybe the person just kept their disc. I don't know. But um, I had this game as well already, so very, very happy to get these. Uh, that was just fucking awesome. I mean, I couldn't pass it up. I kind of was struggling with that Lightning Returns because I didn't have the game yet, but I was like, I gotta get it. I mean, when am I ever gonna come across this stuff again? And all those were only available at the Square Enix store, which I believe, and they still go for decent penny so um anyways that's all the stuff i've got recently um hopefully it won't be two months until i make a video i just really haven't felt like making anything or even doing the other stuff i was talking about like reviews or whatever or you know impression videos i'm just kind of been lazy i don't know i deserve it since <laughs> every once in a while so Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.